The Twelve Star Fairies. Overview of Gyeongbokgung Palace. In 1395, the third year of the foundation of Joseon by Tejo Isongi. The first in the main palace of Joseon was born with a lot of sweat and efforts. There were a total of 15,000 people. It is the Gyeongbokgung Palace that is renowned the most even today in Korea as an Kusan National Palace. The name of Gyeongbokgung, as well as the names of all other palaces, was made by Jung Dojan, the founding member of Joseon Dynasty. Gyeongbok, which comes from Shigyeong, means praying for the king, his descendants, and all people of the country to enjoy the great blessings, an age of peace. Taepyeong Songdae. The location of Gyeongbokgung Palace Backed by Baegak Mountain, the Namsan Mountain and Insang Mountain stand tall on the left and right, respectively. It's said to be a land that meets the requirements of auspicious land by geomancy. As you stand in front of the huge palace with a total floor area of about 430,000 square meters, which has noon in every five steps and cock, in every ten steps, the glorious and sad history of the Joseon dynasty for six hundred years seems to be speaking to us. After it burned down by the invasion of Japan in Jinwedan, which swept over Joseon in 1592, the Gyeongbokgung Palace was restored by the order of King Sun Gyeonggun, Prince Regent. However, Many part of the Gyeongbokgung Palace was demolished and damaged during the Japanese colonial period. Indeed, the Gyeongbokgung Palace has a rocky history. The Gates of Gyeongbokgung Palace There are four large gates in Gyeongbokgung Palace. It is common that the gates of the palace are not thick with stones, but only the Gyeongbokgung Palace seems to be different. The magnificent gates, which are set on the left and right, reiterate the importance and value of the Gyeongbokgung Palace. The main gate of the Gyeongbokgung Palace is Gwangamun Gate, which was built as a double-layer structure like a castle gate. The Gwangamun Gate, meaning that the king's great virtue illuminates the whole country, is decorated with colorful ornaments. Had a statue and a painting of Juja, mystical bird, symbolizing the south. Gonchunmun is the gate of the east side of the Gyeongbokgung Palace, which means the spring begins, and it befitted for the name, is located close to the royal residence of Crown Prince, who will be responsible for the future of the country. The ceiling depicts a blue dragon symbolizing the east, and it was the gate where the royal family, court ladies, and the officials of royal family came in and out. Yongchun Moon, a gate of greeting autumn, was built with the concept of the west defense, which is the contrast concept with the Gyeongchun Moon gate, and it is said that mainly the civil and military officials came in and out of this gate, on which the picture of the brave and aggressive white tigers is drawn. Shinmumun Gate, which was originally from the Hyunmu, the god ruling north side, is located on the north side of the Gyeongbokgung Palace. The gate was normally fast by believing that it has a strong um energy, but it was said that the heavy gate was sometimes opened as of Hemengdan, a record of the exploits of the subjects near the Shinmumun Gate, came to setting. In the southeastern corner of the palace, a sentry tower called Dongsik Jagak is standing lonely. 
Toshi Jaga that was erected together with it and was destroyed during the Japanese colonial period, so it became a life of a loner. I feel my heart is bleeding for the fact that it seems to resemble the appearance of Joseon at that time. Pindemon Gate, the middle gate between the main gate, Kwanghwamun Gate, and Kunjongmun Gate, the front gate of the Kunjongjeon, means spreading priorities widely. It is a double layer wooden building, and in the center, there is a steady stream Kuncheon descending from the Baegak Mountain. In the middle of the Kuncheon stream, going across the Hunlemun Gate area, there is a flatly low bridge called Yongjegu Bridge. Facing with the Kuncheon Gate, the royal road where the royal carriages piled is placed in the middle of the bridge.